Graydon. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most cantankerous show on the internet. My name is Riley Zunder, my squirrely co-host, Graydon. <sighs> it's my squirrel impression. Welcome to the fourth episode of Hive, Hive Mind, Mind Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Today we're joined by a very special guest. You know him, you love him, Quadeca. Oh my god, I didn't even see you there. Showing through this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. All right, that's cool. I think the people have earned that. <laughs> yeah. All right, two boards of trivia. We don't really need to explain this game. It's just Jeopardy, but hive mind version. Jay's up. Me versus Graydon versus Quadeca versus you. Peyton in Knoxville, Tennessee. Knox, Knox, who's there? <laughs> not, not, not you. All right, before you get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiveMindTV.com for our brand new merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website, linked in description, along with our Patreon and Cameo. And I what? am going to be releasing music, a lot of new unique material, unlike anything I've ever done before. All right, buzzers out. As usual, DJ Grant is mic'd up and he's gonna tell us the categories for the first round. Today's categories are the following. Band bands. This category is for artists or bands who are not allowed entry to the provided locations. Peer pressure. You're tasked with recalling online trends over the years. Player history. You'll be provided with a timeline of teams over the course of an athlete's career and guess who that athlete is. Guess the movie from the original score. Intergalactic, a series of questions all about space. And finally, potpourri. This is our music trivia category. Wow, I love it. I absolutely love it. I wow. am buzzing with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Laugh, laugh. Give me that. <laughs> All right, Tony. <laughs> Let's cue it up. You're going first. Let's do peer pressure for four. In 2015, people began crafting DIY Ouija boards with two pencils in the shape of a cross and a sheet of paper in order to summon this demon. Quadeca. Momo? That is incorrect. Ah, oh, man. Graydon. Is it Charlie? Charlie? That is correct. Oh, fuck. Mm. That's right. I'm a bad little, I'm a rebel. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. What's up, Doja Cat? Show me player history for three. Oh. <laughs> Not a great time to get the daily double. It's all right, Alex. I'd like to make it a true daily double. I'm wagering four points. Who's Alex? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that, right? I shouldn't no, say that. because he's dead. I know. And it's fucked up. It's not like he's here. He yeah. is. Anytime the board is up, it's kind of like a Ouija board. You're speaking to Alex now. Nobody really, like, prepped me on any of this. Ken stuff. Jennings is a Mormon and a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Bills, 2007 to 2010. Seahawks, 2010 to 2015. Raiders, 2017 to 2018, and Seahawks, 2019. I'll, I'll lose my points, thank you. <laughs> this is Marshawn Lynch. Oh. Oh, shit. One of the best highlight reels I've ever seen in my entire life is Marshawn Lynch. Freak mode. No, beast mode. Beast mode, yeah. 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 Freak mode is you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he ate Skittles. He ate Skittles? Yeah, no. on the sideline, he'd always have a bag of Skittles and he'd eat them. No way. Yeah. Goes Big sweet tooth. For him. Wait, why? I don't know, I just feel like as an athlete, you should be eating like, like boar. You know, or like, uh, oh, you have a so. problem with the rainbow? No, 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 no. Hey, I don't know. I've never seen a rainbow boar. I'll say that. Let's go movie from the score four. Oh, we had to listen to it. I thought it was going to be like a name. Like sheet music. <laughs> you have to read it. <laughs> Does sound familiar. Graydon. I think I just watched this. Is this Gone Girl? That is correct. Wow. Oh. Neil Patrick Harris gets all sliced up. <laughs> <laughs> He's being ridden. He Rid gets his throat slit. He's being ridden? Yeah, like, <laughs> like sexually, sexually rode. Sexually rode. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sexually roden. Who's riding him? It's the woman in the movie who is an all-star actress, and I should remember her name, and if you put it in that I don't remember it, I will kill you. Just a mouth to the camera, a name, like anything, and then I'll put it. Rosamund Pike. A lot of blood. That's an awesome scene. She finishes, too. Oh, really? Yeah, in Before his blood. or after? No, like slits his throat, he's bleeding out, and she she gets hers. That's powerful. It really is, man. It's <laughs> a great movie. For women, you ever, you know? I've been there. You ever seen that movie? I just I can't watch it. That's going to hit too close to home. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's keep this moving and not question that. I like this little shape I'm building, so I'm going to go Intergalactic 3. Despite being known as the Red Planet, Mars's sunsets are this other primary color. Graydon. Woo! That is correct. Really? Really? I was gonna say green. <laughs> I almost said green. So wait a minute. The sun is blue when you're on Mars? When it sets, because like it's kind of like orange here on Earth. Oh. Uh, because we're blue and the, oh, like the yellow of the sun mixes. Whoa. And then when it's red and the yellow of the sun mixes, it's blue. You're a smart guy. 
Thank you. Did you just like put that together or did you already know that? I kind of, I was going to say green and I was like, that doesn't make sense. And then I said blue. Mostly because the screen is blue. That's interesting, dude. And I'm not going to lose it here. I'm going to play more conservatively. (laughs) Show me potpourri for five. Usher and Scooter Braun originally discovered Justin Bieber from his viral cover of this 2006 R&B song. Man, I should know this. Yeah, I should know this as well. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh man what's an usher song let's, let's, let's come on let's, let's be a team guys you know let's be no. a team that's, be not, a team. that's no. not how this works have not you ever seen that friends. on real jeopardy um no i have one time they started playing together as i a saw team? two people team up against another person really really it's messed up it yeah. shouldn't, shouldn't happen i remember when alex Trebek called that guy a loser yeah yeah or whatever <laughs> that's funny or i didn't say, call it it was actually a woman he had loser. prostate cancer so yeah. got him some slack No, I thought it was lit. Like, despite having cancer, I still thought he was a good guy. All right, Grant, what is it? This is So Sick by Neo. I'm not even joking. I was singing that in my head, and then I was like, no way. I didn't come out in 2006. (laughs) It came out in the 80s. It's so good. You know? So sick of love songs. So sad and so. Why can't I turn off the radio? Why can't I turn off the radio? Great movie. I can't turn it off either. (laughs) Cuba Gooding, very inspiring performance there. Just shows how great of an actor he is, how he can transform on screen. A bit of a chameleon. He's a bit of a chameleon. Because in real life, he's got all his marbles. He actually lost a few of them recently. True. But at the time, he had all his marbles. Bad guy, too, apparently. Bad husband. That's what they say. I know someone who jerked off his son. (laughs) Now, is this true? Yeah, and you know that person, too, intimately. (laughs) Yes. Wait a minute. Correct. I'm Eskimo Brothers with Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son. You just tongue punched her. Give me a whisper. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Isn't that nice? That's cool. Isn't that fun? That is fun to learn about. (laughs) It's Jeopardy. You always learn something. You always learn a little something. I learned that a girl that I kissed jerked off Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> cool. Gave him an HJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is cool. By the way, if Usher did hear my cover of So Sick that I just did, I am not signed to a label currently. <laughs> Give us an easy one. Show me player history for one. Heat, 2003 to 2016. Bulls, 2016 to 2017. Cavaliers, 2017 to 2018. Heat, 2018 to 2019. No. Graydon. This must be Dwayne Wade. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> ah. D Wade. D Wade. Say it. D Wade. Yeah. What the hell? You got a live. D Wade. There, there we go. go. <laughs> better. Huh. He's That's got the I'm most blocks about. ever of a shooting guard. That's cool. Interesting stat for sure. Yeah. For dinner parties and stuff like that. Okay. You can say Dwayne Wade's got the most blocks ever at <laughs> shooting guard position in the NBA. Yeah. Any more pigs in a blanket? <laughs> Sometimes I bring my own buns for cocktail weenies. Wow. You know what I mean? You're a man who always has a plan. Just wait to January 16th. <laughs> <laughs> I heard January 16th, and I got a, it kind of let me down with that teen part. Yeah, you, you know? should be nervous, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to, like, start it. Like, if I'm, like, really nice to you type shit, you're not going to be like, hey, just letting you know, don't be in California yeah, on don't, this day. Don't know? go to Gelson's this day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're not going to, like, warn me? Like, you, you're going to implicate me and whatever We'll see. You're you got a lot of people to think about. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> let's do let's do a band, band, bands for three. A provocative music video for Sexy Bitch got this artist in hot water with Sri Lanka for featuring a Buddha statue in the background and has since been banned from the country following violent protests. Ooh, you a sexy bitch, but you fuck so good, I'm on top of it. Is it that? Is it Buck Cherry? <laughs> <laughs> Buzz in and find out. Eh, I think it's wrong, though. Because Buck Cherry's a band. It's not the name of the guy, which got me in a lot of trouble at the meet and greet. <laughs> So said, what's up, Buck? He said, not my name. So I'm going to not buzz in here. I am not going to buzz in as well. Yeah, I'm not going to buzz in either. This is Akon. Oh, Ooh. I thought about that shit, low-key. Akon can't go to Sri Lanka anymore? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Ruined my week. Oh, you were joking. Man. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I thought you were serious for a second. I was like, why do you care so much? You've never been there. I like it on GeoGuessr whenever I get it. I go, that's a beautiful country. You it know, there's certain beautiful. countries that come up on GeoGuessr. I go, yikes. <laughs> and there's certain countries I'm like, ah. That's right, yeah. If any high of my fans want the smoke on GeoGuessr, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm your guy. I see a place. I'm like, Croatia. You know what I'm saying? I just, boom, I'm like boom, that. Boom. Yeah. All right. Let's do a movie from the score for three. Graydon. Show me Mel Gibson's Lethal Weapon. That is incorrect. Oh, I thought that was Lethal Weapon for sure. Oh, no, of course. No, no. (laughs) 
I'm such an idiot. It's another cop movie. I'll even tell you guys that. It is another cop movie? Yes. Is it famous? Uh, no, it's, a, it's like a niche mm. art film. <laughs> and they made that <laughs> song for it. <laughs> Quadeca. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop. That is correct. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's uh, that's Crazy Frog. Bing, bing. His life was a movie, that guy. What do you think his last name was? Frog, obviously. <laughs> Are you sure what his first name, you sure his first name was Crazy? Well, no, his first name was Misunderstood, and then people just called him Crazy. Mm. <laughs> Let's go band bands for four. This late Irish singer was subsequently banned from Saturday Night Live after a 1992 performance that included a cover of Bob Marley's War and ripping up a picture of the Pope. Riley. Who is Sinead O'Connor? That is correct. Rest in peace. Should have been Bono. Should have been Bono? <laughs> what do you mean? That passed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap. It's interesting. First name. Sinead. Sinead. I know, but it's just it's just interesting that you could read it in that sense. Sinead. <laughs> Sinead O'Connor. Rudy. Sinead, you a new batch of potatoes. You That's good. Say like that. That's good. Don't put that. Dude, you got to cut all of this out, bro. I'm going to lose all my Irish fans, bro. You no, know they love it. They love no, it. No, no, no. They don't fuck with that. Ooh. You know, there actually wasn't a potato famine. It was just they were like shipping all their food to England. <laughs> there wasn't true? a famine like at all. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know, I had a family reunion last week. It's always a feast on the famine. Wow. Really good food. Really good food. I yeah. wish I was there. You know what I'm talking about? Let's go, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Sorry. Let's do peer pressure for two, please. An online challenge that dared people to intentionally consume this Procter & Gamble product resulted in seven deaths in 2017. Oh, fuck. Graydon. Tide Pods. That is correct. What are Tide Pods? You know, let's talk about it. What was in them? Detergent. It just looks so good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the white part. It's like a creamy. It's See, like I, I was more of a flavor. It was a blue part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, that's what I'm go. talking yeah, about. Yeah. The blue part really looked super tasty. The white part looked very tasty to me due to its creamy white nature. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it never looked creamy to me. It always, very creamy. I know. Yeah. But it never it looked more powdery. Ooh. No. No, it looked more like sugar, like powdered sugar. Oh, I love powdered sugar too because you know, it looks like cocaine. <laughs> you do like that. Yeah. It's the last time you did cocaine. That booger sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. That Bulgarian bam bam. All right, you know. That Bolivian bushwhack. Sorry. All right, let's get, get, let's get. Show me peer pressure for five. This artist is credited with creating the Harlem Shake meme in 2013 while portraying his famous YouTube character, Quadeca. Show me Joji. That is correct. Filthy Frank, Joji, Pink Guy. What else was this? He had other names, right? Uh, Scorpiosis. Oh, Bauer. That was oh. one of them, too. <laughs> I shall love the Harlem Shake. Me, you too. Know, for some context, uh, I was in uh, seventh grade, I believe, when that came out. And they would have a you know a little seventh grade dance. Nice. Harlem Shake would come on. I would, I would be like, this is my moment to get attention, as I so often did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for context, I was in college. Cool. Yikes. Cool, cool, cool. You used to text me all the time like that. You used to go, you're no, so mature for your age. I did, you not, no, no, I, <laughs> I did not know who you were. <laughs> for further context, I was in bed with the CIA. <laughs> Let's go. I was, yeah, I was handing them secrets. Let's go peer pressure for three. A trend involving completing household tasks blindfolded was called this. Its name was inspired by a Netflix movie with a similar premise. Oh. Graydon. Bird Box. That is correct. Otherwise known as Cloaca. <laughs> nice one, man. I'd like to see player history for five. 76ers, 2014 to 2016. Thunder, 2016 to 2019. Nuggets, 2019 to 2020. Pistons, 2020 to 2022. And Trailblazers, 2022 to present. Graydon. <laughs> is it Jeremy Grant? That is correct. Wow. wow. The Pistons should have kept him. I was crazy, though. Yeah, that was a deep pull. What a pull. Because I, I was just thinking, like, <laughs> okay, up until last year, pretty much, he was on the Stones. They traded him away to the Blazers for Cap. That's Cap. Can I be honest? I know none of this. I know nothing about this. And I'm just going to say something. Uh, I'm just going to say something because I think uh, a lot of your fans are just, you know, just get rid of this category for the next time. I'm sure I just think be, they're not going to get it. I'm sure there'll be you know a soccer player in here for you to get. 
Well, well then that then I'll change my mind. Right. But until I see that, I'm just seeing a lot of these uh, like sort of American, you know, Sixers. That uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm I just speak for your fans. And I say I feel like that's not going to interest a lot of them. But also, yeah, there are six categories per round, so, so I mean, there's got to be different stuff. It's like do you ever watch Jeopardy and go, ah, oh, I don't like that category. It's not good for the fans. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Who likes plays? Yeah. <laughs> like what the hell? History? Nah. I don't know anything about history. Money, please. Money <laughs> categories. <laughs> Intergalactic planetary for one. With a surface temperature of approximately 465 degrees Celsius, this planet is the hottest in the solar system. Quadeca. Jupiter. That is incorrect. <laughs> oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> Riley. Is it Venus? That is correct. Venus is hot? Boom. Damn, bro, I thought it was cold type shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a great tennis player. It's not just about her looks, all right? <laughs> Wicked backhand. And it's in retrograde right now. That's why I've been so toxic. That is why it's so small. <laughs> My Venus is in retrograde. <laughs> It's like I'm living in a cold pool. <laughs> I'm gonna do band bands for two, please. This singer, banned from Mexico in 1966, also had his song New York, New York banned from the radio after 9-11 due to it being lyrically questionable. Graydon. <laughs> Show me old blue eyes, Frank Sinatra. That is correct. And sing it with me now, Riley. New York, New York. <laughs> it's the city that never sleeps. Cat's Deli is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like 40 bucks for a It pastrami. got hit in by a planner. <laughs> it, 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 you know. <laughs> hey, so, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you're not you're making anywhere. a whole mess of this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, you're not going you're making a mess. Sit back down, buddy. Trying to get your 9-11 conspiracy jokes off? Do that elsewhere, buddy. What was the questionable material? They got it banned, you know? Oh, because it's about a, uh, oh, good question. Fly me to the moon? I don't know. It's a different <laughs> yeah, song. A totally different song. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to say that Frank Sinatra predicted 9-11 in 1966? <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. In that one song, he does say, I'll jump right on a big bird, and then I'll fly. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I pledge my oath to Al-Qaeda, and then I'll die. <laughs> Let's talk about Building 7. <laughs> what happened there in heaven? Because <laughs> jet fuel cannot melt steel beams. <laughs> Give me potpourri for four. Per whosampled.com, this children's story rapper worked with Doug E. Fresh on the most sampled English rap song of all time with 1985's La Di Da Di. Graydon. Slick Rick. That is correct. la dee da -dee, we likes to pouty. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. We're just some white guys on the mic. And when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic raw. <laughs> For all my dogs, keeping y'all in health. Just to see you smile and enjoy yourself. Because it's cool when we cause a cozy condition in which we create. Because that's our mission. So listen close to what we say. Because this type of shit happens every day. I woke up around 10 o'clock in the morning. I gave myself a stretch up, a moaning. Went to the bathroom to wash up. I put my... Hands on a cup, and I said, what's up? I said, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the top dog of them all? There was a raffle duffle. Five minutes it lasted. The mirror said, you are, you condescending bastard. And that's true, and that's why I never have no beef, so I put on my khakis and my gold leaves. I use oil up LA because my skin gets pale. Then I grab the file for my fingernail. True to the style on my behalf, I put the bubbles in the tub so I could take a bubble bath clean, dry was my body and hair. I threw on my brand new doggy underwear <laughs> to all the bitches that I might take home. I got that Johnson baby powder and cool water cologne. <laughs> and now I'm fresh dressed like a million bucks. Something gold leaks in my all new chucks. Yeah, it's all right. You guys get it. I like that song. <laughs> wow. Slick Rick, man. <laughs> that was Snoop Dogg, but. I was going to say, I was like, isn't that Snoop Dogg? Yeah, but he does. He's like, he does it to like a Slick Rick tribute. <laughs> That's right. fire, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, good for you. You inspire me because you're a rapper and stuff, so I was just trying to impress you. No. Oh. Movies from the score for one. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a chance here. Man. I don't know movies, man. <laughs> Great, Ed. Requiem for a dream! <laughs> that is correct. That yeah. was in Requiem for a dream? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That's Trent Reznor, I believe. Oh, that was like Sparta or some shit, you know? Jared Leto. Let's go. You gotta let go, man, of all those bad vibes. I know, I've been trying, dude. <laughs> Peer pressure one. 
After a celebrity revealed allegedly surgically enhanced lips, this challenge saw thousands of teens use a glass or jar to suck their lips with crazy swollen results. Quadeca. Kylie Jenner lip challenge. On your bitch challenge. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Kylie Jenner lip challenge. On your bitch challenge. Did you do it? Did you do the lip challenge? No. You look good with some juicy ass I feel lips. like I have pretty, like, uh, you know, uh, good lips. Like, you're pretty so, luscious, dude. Mm, I've been told that. Let's times. see them. I don't think so. Pout for him. No, like, it's a little too pronounced of a pout. Maybe, like, a subtler pout. Mm, okay. Look this way a little bit. Just a little bit this way. This way. Look at my finger. I like them. Thank you. Yeah, I think they're nice. I don't think you need to go. I don't think you need any fillers. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, I think dude. You just keep them how, how they are. How God any, intended them to be. What about the other parts of my face? You think anything else? Could BBL. Be? <laughs> BBL. That's what <laughs> I, I would. That's what I would uh, prescribe to you. Yeah. <laughs> would be a BBL. <laughs> What's the results, doctor? He's gonna need a BBL. <laughs> Band bans for five. This English rock band wasn't allowed entry into Israel due to the government's fear of them causing mass hysteria. Riley. It was the Beatles. That is correct. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Beatles mania. Beatle mania. And they were very anti-Semitic. Were they really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God. I was about to delete a few songs from my playlist, like three or four. Judge, they control the banks, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit curious, the directors these days of these movies. <laughs> God. Sorry. That's the Beatles talking not us. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to go player history for two, please. Pirates, 1986 to 92. San Francisco Giants, 9307. Graydon. That's Big Bat Barry Bonds. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Show me band bands for one. Former Toronto Raptor Patrick Patterson said the locker room used to have a ban on this going bad rapper after a feud with Drake. Riley. Meek Mill. That is correct. Yeah. What a weird raptor to pull out Patrick Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> out of all guys to say it. Like, <laughs> Isn't Going Bad the song with Drake? Yeah. So that's like the that's like the patch up song. And sure. Rico. But that was before. That's how well, it's Re gas. Yeah, Rico is the song that kind of started the whole thing. Kind of. Like him being yeah. like Drake was on the album and then Meek Mill was like, he has ghostwriters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go potpourri for one. Released in 2010, this party anthem featuring Roscoe Dash and Wale was certified diamond on July 20th, 2023. Oh. Graydon. Is it No Hands? That is correct. Uh, I was just yeah. singing it in my head. Yeah. I literally was like, wait, what Flocka song is yeah. that in my head? Damn Look, it. Ma, no hands and no dollar. I can't dance. I'm with Waka. I pray you don't know all the words to I'm a bad no. motherfucker. <laughs> no no ass song, motherfucker. <laughs> to you. Player history for four. Let's finish it. Liverpool, 2011 to 2015. Manchester City, 2015 to 2022. Chelsea, 2022 to present. Man, your time to shine, kid. Mess, dude. You don't have to worry about us guessing. No. <laughs> Could be Roger Carpets. What about David Vincente? Who's on Chelsea right now? Oh, oh. Tyler Bracelets. Tyler Bracelets. <laughs> yeah. Carson Brixton. Dan Crisps. Quadeca. Sterling. That is correct. Let's go. Thank ah, God. Thank okay. God. Okay. All right. I just couldn't remember the Liverpool days of Sterling. I couldn't envision him. Yeah, he was like 18 or 19 years old starting. It was crazy. Yeah. Well done. Hey, Cheers. good for you. Let's go. Good Let's go. You. I love this player history. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a great addition. <laughs> and it's really going to it's gonna reach across the aisle. You know, I think. Yeah. I, I, thought they were, I thought they were about to start naming like some of like the girls I used to date and shit. <laughs> and like, like player history type shit. And I'm glad that it's not because that would be like too revealing. <laughs> Let's go movie from score for two. I want to hear a nice little song, you know? Graydon. Yeah. Murph! Murph! It's Interstellar! <laughs> that is correct. Man, you buzzed it one little second. Murph! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What? Sorry. <laughs> I always just think it's hot when she's older than he is at the end. Yeah, he's it's always the thing I've said. I think yeah, it's I hot mean... when the daughter of someone is older than him. <laughs> You'd be amazed by the limited results you get on Pornhub for that. Older stepdaughter. Older stepdaughter is probably way more results than older daughter. Well, yeah, but they don't let you look up real incest. It's illegal. It is? Yeah. <laughs> Show me. Puppery for three. This one hit wonder turned indie darling did not have a good time at her 2014 coffee shop charity event after only selling 20 cups, failing to meet her goal of 30,000. Whoa. 
Good time. Good time. Oh! We just had a song called Good Time. Oh! Not Robert Pattinson, is it? What's that one song I'm singing in my head? We don't have to take our clothes oh, off. off. No. To have a good time. Cool. I don't know this for some reason. Pass. Pass. This is Carly Rae Jepsen. What? Why would it be good time? It's just not a one hit wonder. It's just not a one hit wonder. That's the, I was literally thinking it one said hit one time. It's a good Indi time. Good time. It said one hit wonder turned indie darling. Not an indie oh. darling. She's a pop star. She's, oh my God. That is Run away with me. I mean, come on. What are we come doing? Come on, right? right? Call me maybe. Yeah. Right? <laughs> if it said, if it said, this is what I was, because because I was literally thinking Carly Rae Jepsen, me but too. I was thinking it would have to be this uh, pop singer turned indie darling did not have a call me maybe. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I was like, is there, what's good time? What is, does she have a song with good time? Yes, yeah, with uh, Owl City. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, show me intergalactic for five. This hypothesized substance is what astrophysicists use to account for unexplained gravitational effects in space, as it does not appear to interact with the electromagnetic field. Quadeca. Dark matter. That is correct. Let's go. Nice big five there. Um, Let's do movie film the score. Quadeca. Call me by your name. That is correct. Let's go. Sufjan Stevens. Yep. Great song. Great song. Great oh. song. She's a pop star. <laughs> what? Dude, oh, that sorry. was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even indie. That was like two minutes ago, man. Gotta get down on Friday. <laughs> not by her. That's Rebecca Black. Right, exactly. <laughs> What the hell's going on? Man? <laughs> this shit's all twerked up, man. What twerked up? It's like, dude, that was like that was like two. Only twenty ago. cops. Yeah, uh, yeah. The goal was so much more. Okay. What the yeah. heck? It's my board. No, it's, it's not. Nah. Let's go pot. What the fuck is that? Potpourri. Potpourri. Let's go pot puree for two. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Glover chose his rap moniker Childish Gambino after finding it through an online name generator for fans of this 1990s rap group. Quadeca. Wu Tang. That is correct. Let's go. I'm back in it. You are on a Let's rip, go. rip, rip ripper. <sighs> Right. <laughs> you ever put your name through that little generator? <laughs> no, what? That would be weird. If That's I how that. you got yours, isn't it? No, what? Oh, no, yours was like you made up a superhero or something, and he was like just supposed to be fighting crime, but it was like Bible crime. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you came up with it, right? Yeah, when I, when I was four years old, I was like, well, you know, we got to clean up the streets. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was like that. And I was on chat roulette when I was like five. So <laughs> oh, it yeah. kind of prepped me, prepped me for the culture, you know? Yeah. All right. Jerking off. Uh, yep. Chatterbait. I didn't even. I, you know, chatterbait. Yeah. What, what category do you look at when you're on chatterbait? Fast. Fast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the faster they're doing it, the more I like it. <laughs> he has a need for speed. That's what he's always said. <laughs> Hurry up. It's like, next, 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 next. It's like TikTok for me. Go ahead. You're Let's go intergalactic for two. Housing more than one trillion stars, this spiral galaxy is the nearest major galaxy to the Milky Way and the furthest astral object humans can see with the naked eye. Graydon. Andromeda Galaxy. That is correct. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Bit of a space nerd. Hit me up, ladies. I'm just kidding, don't. Leave me alone. <laughs> I live a more private life these days. Andromeda. What a great word, right? It's sick, dude, it is. yeah. That thing's so far away, I couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the last one here, Tony. Launched out of White Sands, New Mexico in 1947, this species caught the red eye to become the first animal in space. Yeah. Riley. Yeah. All right, let's think about this for a minute. I just kind of, I learned the new buzzing yeah. rule, yeah. and I decided. I like it. Uh, I got the red eye, so it's got a red eye. Uh, let's go with a, uh, uh, let's go with a, a fox. That is incorrect. Yeah. Makes sense. I feel like it was a monkey. Or was it like a dog? Could have been a grapefruit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Could have been a fox. <laughs> you always go with fox. Could have been a red-eyed snail. <laughs> Could have been like a really high dude. <laughs> Could have been someone's ex-wife. At the not that I'm making that joke. I'm not making that joke. I'm not doing like my ex-wife. Like I'm not. I'm not like that guy. But just in like 1947, I feel like they were a little, you know, more like, hey, my, my, she got red eye. She's a red-eyed animal. Used to say shit like that. <laughs> just guess. Are you gonna guess? All right. I guess. <laughs> Quadeca. Monkey! That is incorrect. I'm <laughs> <laughs> ah, making a three for come Man, on. Come on, you gotta guess. We all equal throw, throw out. Throw it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, all equal on, throw, out. Throw, in, throw it in. I'm Wait. not gonna give in to peer pressure unless it's the uh. Kylie Jenner lip challenge <laughs> and you're playing a little Carly Rae Jepsen, Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I just kind of took you guys back through the game we just I played. Like that. Yeah, that's. I mean, that was special. But yeah. uh, all right, what was it, Grant? This is a fruit fly. That's not an animal. That's not an animal. Boo! It's like a speck. That's an animal. We we actually looked it up to make sure that insects are animals, and they indeed are animals. Yeah. Oh, okay. A fruit fly was the first thing in space. It was probably by accident. They're like, oh shit, we really. <laughs> they're, like, right up there. they're like, really, we got one in here, <laughs> guys. <laughs> we're gonna like you realize we can't let it go. Like we can't open a window up here. We are stuck with this fly for the rest of the time. You could have killed it. Yeah. And most of the space missions did kill it, but <laughs> a challenger, not yep. so much. All right, the first board has been asked. So now it's time for my bar of the day. Bar of Yay! the day. Bar of, bar the, of day. the day. I wrote it down on my piece of paper here. That is tiny. Are you ready? Yeah. I need 10 big gays with me. That's my bare minimum. Wow. Buzz. All right, let's see uh, Double Jeopardy. Today's Double Jeopardy categories are the following. What's wrong with you? In this category, we recall the history of diseases, illnesses, and injuries. The Animal Singdom. You'll be provided with a lyric from a song whose title includes the name of an animal or insect. Rhyme Time. You'll be provided with two clues that rhyme with one another, one of which will always be the name of an artist. In the Urban Dictionary. This category tests your knowledge of modern slang. Love triangles. Wait, they both dated who? Last but not least, rap math makes its return to hive mind jeopardy. You'll be provided with two iconic rap lyrics or phrases involving numbers to solve the given equation. Yeah. Whoa, these are some great categories. Yeah, I think this is gonna yeah, be awesome. Yeah, this is lit, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm so lit. happy to be here with you, man. Dude, I'm so happy to be here with you too after what happened. And you too. <laughs> um, Lowest score goes first. That means me. I hope Giat is in the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Animal Singdom for two, please. For this life I cannot change. Hidden hills, deep off in the main. Quadeca. I guess who, who said it, right? Name of the song. Oh, name of the song. Uh, Butterfly Effect by Travis Scott. That is correct. Let's go. Yes, okay. Butterfly. <laughs> it's an animal. If you could go back in time and do one thing, what would you do? And don't say kill Hitler. Write Butterfly Effect. <laughs> <laughs> you would write that song? Yeah. I'd do it in like 2012 or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a hit no matter yeah. when it came out. And yeah. I would have been, I would have been young. It would have been cool. I would have been young enough. You would have been actually self freshman, dude. You would have been in the in the class with uh, Future and Hobson and Danny Brown yeah. and MGK and Iggy. I'm kind of like all those artists put together. Yeah. <gasps> I would have started Bagu. <laughs> The company Bagu. Bagu. <laughs> yes. yeah. I got the, the little totes, kind of reusable, but not reusable totes. Uh, very popular in New York City <laughs> and big cities in general. Nice. Uh, just kind of a brilliant idea. I mean, I, I need me my Bagu. That's yeah. what I want to say. <laughs> so. All right, Ben, you're bored. All right, let's do, uh, let's do rhyme time for 10. A row of stitches for a cheesecake loving artist. Graydon. Futures sutures. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Future suture. He loves cheesecake. That's crazy. I don't even know what the fuck suture means. Suture? It's like when you suture something like you're... It's a row of stitches. If you just read yeah. the fucking clue, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I know, but I've never heard of such a thing until today. Well, I've never heard of it. Context clues will I help you. I can see your sutures, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that clue just didn't suit your uh, arsenal of knowledge. That's true. <laughs> Martinelli is crazy this year. It's true. He's, he's going off, bro. Martinelli's cooking, dude. Did you see the assist he had in the opening game? No, I didn't. Is he all right? The Brazilian jumped out. I'll just say that. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What's wrong with you for 10? Your blood's inability to clot is a telltale sign of this. But don't worry. The Romanovs had Rasputin cure their son of it. Graydon. Anemia? That is incorrect. Oh, I feel like I know it, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass on it because ten's too ma too much to lose for me as someone who doesn't even have ten. <laughs> I'm not gonna guess, but I feel like it's hepatitis. Grant, this is hemophilia. Ah, good, good, good. It's a good okay, thing cool. I did not yeah, guess. It's hemophilia. Yeah, hemophilia. <sighs> Hemo. My board. <laughs> All right. Show me in the Urban Dictionary for ten. After the release of the Barbie movie, this word rose to popularity to describe going against traditional masculinity tropes and embracing a supportive role. Graydon. <laughs> it's that Kennergy, baby. That is correct. It's that Kennergy. Really? That's like good man energy. Kennergy? <laughs> yeah. I never, I only hear I am Knuff. No, it's that Kennergy. Kennergy? I've never heard that. <laughs> you heard that? Wow, no. You ain't on TikTok enough, man. Yeah, I'm not. My I'm... Ken's job is sitting at the computer all day and getting me water when I say I have a headache. 
That's like real <laughs> Kennergy behavior. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My Ken's job is topping me off. I don't know. I just I'm on a weird side of TikTok. My Ken's job is hosting Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jennergy, baby. Ken Jennergy. <laughs> Kendall Jennergy. <laughs> Let's do Animal Singdom for ten. I'd be crazy not to follow. Follow where you lead. Your eyes, they turn me, turn me into phantoms. Oh, Grant put just his poetry in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is like what he posts on Instagram at like 1 a.m. with just a black screen. It just says this on there. I'm like, what? <laughs> Nobody got it, but it's pretty powerful, right? Yeah, it is kind of powerful. <laughs> I'm not going to answer. Pass. This is Weird Fishes slash Arpeggi by mm. Radio. Oh, I love that song. Me too. It's my favorite radio song. We're not allowed to be alternative white guys anymore. <laughs> Weird Fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great song. Oh, it's so good. Show me love triangles for 10. 50 Cent, Iron Chef Bobby Flay. <laughs> Riley. Chelsea Handler. That is correct. Wow. <laughs> Who has Chelsea been with lately? You know what I mean? God damn. What a show. She, by the way, she, uh, a lot of people don't know this, did ayahuasca and sat next to her childhood sister, learned a lot about herself on Netflix. Her childhood sister? <laughs> <laughs> I said this before and I will say it again. It was not like her sister right now. It was like when her sister was a child, she sat next to like kind of some sort of mirage slash, it's like the Tupac hologram. Oh yeah, actually? You know, like the Tupac hologram, like it wasn't like a hologram of what Tupac would look like now, his dead rotted corpse. It was like oh. Tupac when he was alive. So Chelsea Handler <laughs> sat next to her sister when she was a child. Oh, like a hologram? Or it wasn't a real hologram. She was a on hallucination. Ayahuasca. It was a hallucination. Oh, okay. And then she learned a lot. She <laughs> shit herself, too. She talked about it. So whatever. Just watch Netflix. I don't know what to tell you. All right, what's next? Talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> what's next, guys? Throw it at me. Um, okay, let's do rap math for two, please. I was thinking that. We're always on the same page. The amount of problems Jay-Z has minus the model of iPhone Drake's side girl has with the screen cracked. Quadeca. Jay-Z has 99 problems. Drake's side girl has a 5S. 99 minus 5 would equal 94. That is correct. You get both of the numbers right, but just the math, like yeah. simple math wrong. <laughs> that would equal 86. <laughs> so doing it with my hands. 99, 98, 97. All right, you're bored, Benny boy. Let's do in the Urban Dictionary for eight. One of the first ever Urban Dictionary words posted in 1999 was this, defined as the head of the establishment put into place to bring us down. Graydon. The man? That is correct. Good job, wow. dude. That was good. Good guess. Fuck the man and fuck men in general. Let's go! <laughs> Top it up. Yeah. Good Top for it you, up, man. Good for you, man. Bringing that Kennergy. Yeah. Let's keep it going, Urban Dictionary for six. Oh. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, how many points do I have? 47. Okay, what's the next closest guy? 20 and 17. I'm going to keep it cheesy here. Let's just do 10. Cuddling with someone while having an erection changes the position from spooning to this other utensil. Do you guys know this one? <laughs> <laughs> is it spalorki sporking? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> spalorking? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do when it's over. You splork everywhere. Where can I spalork on you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Taco Bell doesn't even have sporks anymore. It's like a huge, like, what's happening these days? Because the curious do. Because of the turtles? Yeah. Really? Yeah, people kept going and stabbing them with little sporks. <laughs> oh, my God. Plastic ones. They make paper ones now, but they just don't really, you know, they can't really pick shit up. They just look cool. You know what? When it comes to all this environmental stuff, I mean, that is the last straw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got to save these turtles. <laughs> Show me love triangles for two. Maddie Healy, Taylor Lautner, Riley. Let's go with Taylor Swift, please. That is correct. Who yeah. is that? What? <laughs> Taylor Swift? You remember the one, uh, the country girl? He has teardrops on her guitar. Country girl, shake, shake it, it for me, girl. That's a guy singing for sure. No, I know. It's not. Yeah, the, you remember the teardrops on my guitar? Yeah, she was that one hit wonder turned indie darling. And then she yeah. did a bake sale <laughs> and she sold like a few hundred, like a few, a few yeah. hundred cups of She's coffee. She's a pop star. Yeah. What? What? Who? Oh, my bad. Oh. I thought we were still <laughs> upset with the producers. Yeah. Is my score right this game? I just don't want to be screwed out of another victory. I'm going to go with love triangles for four, please. Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie, Riley. Go with Brad Pitt, please. That is correct. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Brad Pitt was also a guest star on Friends, Jennifer Aniston's big one. All right, let's get back into the game. Six, you're gonna same win one, this, love You're going to win this shit because you're the biggest gossip I know. Eric Andre, Harry Styles, Riley. Who is Emily Ratajkowski? That is correct. Yeah. All right, yeah, she is hot, hot, hot. I mean, check out her Instagram, guys. You know what I'm talking about? Eight, please. Eight. <laughs> you know she was in the Entourage Eight, movie? please. <laughs> oh, seven, oh, shake. Timothy Chalamet. Quadeca. Uh, fuck. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. It's, uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Kalani. That is incorrect. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Riley. Lily Rose Depp. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank I'm you very dumbass, much. Dude. And my score, please? 37. 37. It's over for me. Yeah. It's over for me. God, I love love. That's really what it is. <laughs> Yeah. I just love love. Timothy Chalamet dated her? Yeah. And now she's dating 070 Shake. They I are know. deeply in love. Very cute couple. Because we're both on the screen. Well, I know, but it's, yeah. it also could be a past lover. Oh, sure. I'm saying they're together right now. But I asked, she dated Timothy Chalamet, implying that I knew she was dating 070 Shake. Yeah, hey, listen. Yeah. Sometimes we misunderstand each other. <laughs> I appreciate it's okay. it. Don't misunderstand me, though. I love love. Got it. I won't. And I won't. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with uh, Animal Singdom for six, please. I'm fucking the clitoris. Can you? Can it be done? I know this lyric, but I can't place what song. I know the on. artist. I yeah. can't think of the name. Who's the artist? I'm not gonna tell you. What, what the hell? <laughs> That's not the part of the game. So wait, the name of the song just has to involve an animal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might just guess anyway. Riley. Is it Squidtastic? By Saw Baby? Squidrific? That is correct. Oh, okay. All right. Because I was thinking, I was like, Squidrific. <laughs> Squidrific's not an animal. Like, a squid is Squid's just in animal. that word. You yeah, know what I mean? That's yeah. like what got me for yeah, a second. Yeah. You know, I was, well, I thought Squidtastic. But, yeah. You know, Squid Games. Anyway. <laughs> hey, yo. All right. Now let's do What's Wrong With You for Four. Losing a body part but still feeling sensation in it after it's gone means you have this, which still remains a medical mystery. Graydon. Phantom Limb. That is correct. My eyes are like phantom limbs. Yeah. Whatever weird fishes lyrics you guys. <laughs> Great song by the Shins, Phantom Limb. Really? Yeah, yeah really, really good. How good? Uh, I'd give it a good eight out of ten. A smiley ball. I'm back. I took a little break there from lighting up the scoreboard, but we're going. Uh, <laughs> give me what's wrong with you for six. Becoming attached or bonded with your captor during a kidnapping or hostage situation would diagnose you with this. Quadeca. Stockholm Syndrome. That is correct. Let's go. I needed that. I needed that. Yeah. That's yeah. because everyone living in Sweden so convinced it's the greatest country in the world. <laughs> Let's go! It's not. It's, not. it's so true. It sucks. Yeah, they're xenophobic. A lot of racism. People kill themselves a lot. Yeah. It's cold as shit. Blade, but they think they're all mean, good. Echo 2K. Well, that's Grand actually gang. sick. That yeah, part's kind of sick. That's fire. No taxes. Cool. Like 80% taxes. No though. taxes at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredible amount of taxes. <laughs> not for me. I don't live there. No. Oh, sure. So. The sweetest tax? Why do I gotta pay this? <laughs> Let's do rap math for fucking eight. How many thousands Nicki Minaj gets paid for a verse with no album out, divided by what rule number it is to never sell no crack where you rest at, according to Biggie? This one's kind of wow. tough, because I don't know the rules in order. <laughs> this sucks. I don't know what divide means. <laughs> <laughs> Great album by Ed Sheeran. How many thousands does Nicki get paid? Do we know? Riley. I'm gonna go with 25. That is incorrect. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I know what it is now, too. I'm good. I'm not gonna guess. What is it, G? Is it 10? Yeah. Fuck. This is 10. It's rule number five. I went with rule uh, number two because I knew they would only pick something that's evenly divided. Yeah. That's how I went with it because it's 50K for a burst. No album out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do round math for six. What time Lil Uzi Vert took that bitch right to brunch, plus Trippy Red's big alias? I, 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 I don't remember what time that Lil Uzi Vert took, took them that to bitch brunch. Right. Can you do the flow for us, Grant? That's not allowed. Just yeah. for fun. Let's see no, the flow. So we no, no. God! You always try to hijack our I'm show. I'm not a, like, no. You didn't even know there was double jeopardy. You haven't been watching. Okay, can I be honest with you? <laughs> can I be honest? I've been keeping my ear to the streets these days. I'm less so on the uh, YouTube, you know, watching stuff. I got a lot of, uh, you know, women who I need to take care of, who I need to, who I need to keep happy. Yeah. Old folk. I have um, accounts offshore. I have business in the streets. Right. right. <laughs> and I make music on the side. It's a lot. Like, I don't I don't see every high mind video. You saying we blew up, we got too big for you? Not cool to like us anymore? We're not um, down for the streets? We're too mainstream? Um, we streets went, do we love digging, though. We they do out. love digging. Not him, but, like, the guy that, like, replaces him or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like him. <laughs> yeah. You don't like that we charge you to be on the show now? 
Yeah. You speak. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's free anymore in this country. You know what I'm talking about? Who wants to dap me up for that? I guess, yeah, sure. I'm just joking, guys. I do watch the videos. So you did watch Jeopardy. Yeah, you yeah, understood yeah. that there was double Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah. I just haven't watched it in a while. I just have so much going on in my head. I'm going, th you know, I'm just going through a lot. So I'm just like, so I'm you thinking about joking. all that. Grant, let's uh, hear the next sample. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'll pass. I'm passing. Yeah, what's the answer? This is 25. Ooh. 11's a little early for brunch. <laughs> I really only count at brunch if it gets into the afternoon. If it's before noon, it's just a late breakfast. Yeah, that's just, that's breakfast. Yeah, you know, especially for Uzi, who I assume sleeps in. Yeah, I do kind for of for some that reason, too. and I don't like to assume about anybody, but yeah. I would assume that they have late nights in the studio, and eleven's a little early for them yeah. to be going out. Eleven's a great time to go get brunch. I agree, but, but it's I'm just, just late saying breakfast. it's not really brunch; it's breakfast. Eleven forty-five, we can kind of start brunch there. Yeah, <laughs> the bottomless mimosas start at noon. Yeah, it's noon to two. It's yeah, like a, it's a happy hour. Always been more than one hour, kind of weird. But, but if it's past noon, you know. it's it's lunch. We all know that. It's kind of the But cutoff. if you're getting breakfast food, it's brunch. And if it's your first meal of the day, it's fucking brunch, fucker. Mm. And if you have breakfast food around like, you know, 6 p.m. or later, that's Brinner. Brinner. Yeah. Let's uh let's do a little poll in the in the corner for the folks at home. When do you guys think the uh, cutoff for brunch is? When does brunch start and when does brunch end? All right, I'll give them kind of four little it's... options in there. What do we want to put? Like 11, 11:45, noon, and then like 1:30, 12:45. 45, 12, oh God, you gotta put one in there. One, yeah. put one. Sure. Okay, those will be the four options in the chat. You know what's kind of fucked up is I, for some reason, I thought that the Trophy Red's big number was 1,400. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right. thinking of the, I don't know, does he ever say 1,400? Yeah, yeah. Having so a 1,400 over 800, he has yeah, all yeah. that, but it's so, like, you know. So I was literally gonna guess whatever, like I would have guessed, uh, you know, 1,411. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I was doing big 14, what the fuck going on? Ah! All right, let's do rap math for four. How many times the weekend has been evicted from the Ritz, plus the amount of blunts Playboy Cardi told his boy to roll for him? Oh, okay, I know the second one. <laughs> uh, I have a guess, but I just can't. Can't believe he got evicted from the Ritz. And how many times? That suggests more than once, probably. I would say more than once, yeah. yeah. You ever stayed at the Ritz? No. You ever put on the Ritz? I do, I do do that. I do do that. No. You know me well. You would put on the Ritz. Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're all giving up. This is my armrest. You don't have armrests for a reason. <laughs> you don't need to rest your This arm. is how I reclaim my, my bad chair that you give me for the mental games oh that you like to play. You try to box me in. It's I insane. reclaim the armrest. Yeah, he is my armrest too. <laughs> this is how it is on the plane. If somebody, you, you, the middle person, by virtue of being in the middle, gets two armrests, that's how they, they you know. Well, well this is even better. better. Yeah. All right, are we put the one in the towel here? I told that boy go roll like, how many blunts? Yes, I passed. <laughs> okay. yeah, me too. This is 14. Good thing I didn't guess. Damn, dude. Let's go uh, <laughs> rhyme time for fucking six, dude. A Swedish rapper's fuzzy leather jacket. Graydon. You're good at these. Blade Swede. <laughs> that is correct. He's really good at that. That was fast that you did that. Yeah. Well, it was Swedish. I said blade right away. Yeah. And then I was like, jacket, suede. It just came right to me. <laughs> he's got a good brain, even after all of the terrible, terrible substances he's... You know, terrible? Played. Like what? I don't know. Fucking math and shit like that. Despite what they say online, Graydon's never touched meth. Only on accident twice, and I snorted <laughs> it because I was supposed to be Molly. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only two times I ever did that. But if it's not intentional, you don't really do it. Because it's not like I sat down ready to go on the meth ride. Yeah, that's I sat, fair. I sat down to have an orgy with a bunch of old people and do Molly. <laughs> Little did I know, the cheap shit I bought off the street was fucking methamphetamine. <laughs> Ten seconds later, I was on a rocket ship to a sweaty evening. <laughs> Paranoia <laughs> took over around midnight, and I started scratching my skin off. Had to put gloves on to keep myself <laughs> safe. Woke up in the morning with scabs and a new perspective on life. What were the old people doing when all this was happening? Do you, they do you remember weren't even there like? to begin with. <laughs> well. Test your drugs, children. Young adults, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am good at rhyme time. Show me rhymey for eight. The opposite of saying hello to this British singer, Quadeca. Adele Repel? That is incorrect. Fuck, man. Fuck. Goodbye, Mick Jagger. I don't know. I don't know it. I don't know why this. My brain went. Yeah, poopy. I have yeah. some ideas that I've come up with, but I don't think they would be it. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm out on this one. I don't know. 
This is farewell, Adele. Oh farewell. man, man, that makes sense. But man. see, it didn't rhyme. Like this is our thing that we always have the problem with. Adele and farewell only rhyme a little bit. Yeah, repel and Adele rhyme more. Barely. Repel <laughs> is the opposite of saying hello. <laughs> you know what? I didn't. You know, I didn't really think it through. I just heard opposite, and then I knew it was Adele, and I was trying to think of a negative word. Why is repel negative? You, you repel somebody. You, know. you can it's repel like, down a castle with your buddies after a big heist. No, I've never done that though. Oh. So I don't. Have that experience. <laughs> I'll do animal sing dumb for eight. And it's not like Mr. Shuck to get shy when they ask him who is on top. Riley. What is Elephant by Tame Impala? That is correct. Ooh. Nice. Nice. I almost said underdogs on top. <laughs> not even the name of the song. <laughs> no, it's not. That's hate it or love it. But it's not like Mr. Shuck to get shy when they ask him who is on top. I didn't even know they were speaking English in that. <laughs> they're not, they're speaking Australian. That's what I thought. Koala fuckers. They don't <laughs> fuck the koalas. <laughs> I would. Well, that's why you're not allowed in Australia anymore. <laughs> I'd fuck other stuff down there too. You tried to fuck a scorpion. Kangaroo? What's the pouch for, if not for my Big Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Anaconda? Don't want none unless I want some. You know what I mean? No, that's yeah. not the lyrics. That's oh. why I think you're misunderstanding that. Yeah. Yeah. It's my my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. That anaconda wants some of this. No, you yeah. can't. I'm you gonna gotta, fuck a snake. No. They're not venomous. It's a constrictor, too, so that probably feels good. Yeah, I just think you should stick to people. Okay. What's the best animal you've ever had sex with? Uh, <laughs> I'm catfish. Explain why. Uh, sloppy and floppy. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskers, too. I like a little bush. <laughs> Let's go animal singdom for four, please. Boy toy named Troy used to live in Detroit. Riley. This is insane. I, I was, th this That's is crazy. anaconda. Dude, That's correct. This is oh, anaconda. I, I was thinking anaconda. I was like, it couldn't be. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm thinking that because of what just happened. <laughs> wow. And then what his the dick, uh, he dicks big as Eiffel. <laughs> Michael, Michael's dick as big as Eiffel. That, that was crazy. That was weird. That was, was strange. Yeah. But we got to nice. Australia. Tame and Paula was before it, and then I got to talking about fucking animals. I mean, it was kind of an obvious road to get there when you look back. <laughs> it's just amazing that it was up there. Um, let's do love triangles for twelve. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, Urban Dictionary for four, please. Irish handcuffs have been defined as carrying one of these in both hands. Graydon. Drinks. That is correct. Just drinks? Alcoholic beverages, yeah. I thought it had to be a Heineken. Well, if you're, no, if you're double fisting, those are made in Amsterdam anyway. Get your head on straight, pal. Irish people love them. <laughs> I don't think they do. That's probably They're just green. Oh, I want some Heineken. Don't they always say No, they're that? like Guinness, dude. Yeah. Guinness is yeah. my, that's where I hate. And yeah. I fucked up and I'm going to take the. In redheaded broads. Bread. Yeah. Take 10 points off the board for me. <laughs> that was just insensitive. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Don't actually do it, please. Um, let's do urban dicks for two. An old white woman looking for a problem. Graydon. Karen. That is correct. <laughs> I am good with these urban dickies. Well, there's no more of them, so good luck. Show me urban dictionary for 12. <laughs> Let me see what I did there. That's funny. Isn't that <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do rap math for 10. The number of bands Roddy Rich put on George Zimmerman divided by how much Earl Sweatshirt charges for an eighth. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Rat math got so much harder this time. I'm gonna do rat math next time. Oh, rat math, yeah. The number of rats found in <laughs> Lafayette Coney Island in order to get it shut down divided by the number of rats that hid in that chef's hat in order to make them a better chef. <laughs> rat a -tat, the DJ, multiplied by the number of rats in this room. Ooh, I don't like what you did there. Oh, here's a little cheese. That was a test, and you failed. <laughs> Fuck! I don't know this, and I'm not guessing. Yeah, I'm out. I feel like uh, Earl Sweatshirt would charge like 200. <laughs> I think that's fair. From yeah. Earl Sweatshirt? If you get to yeah. meet him, I mean, yeah. it's like a meet and greet. Bro, I can get you eights for 150. No way, dude. Yeah. I normally pay like four or five. <laughs> I got you, bro. Thanks, dude. What's the answer, Grant? This is one. Wow. 100 divided by 100. <laughs> so... Roddy Rich put $100 on George Zimmerman. That is bands. not Oh, 100 bands. Okay. <laughs> That's much better. Because $100 ain't going to do much. Bad.
<laughs> I ain't killing a man for a hundred dollars. Yeah, sorry. Not even for you, Roddy. Actually, I'd kill George Zimmerman for free. Yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah. If, if you just said you wouldn't get away with it and I could sit like four miles away, you, you could be my spotter. You said wouldn't get away with yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> you could be my spotter and I have a sniper, big 50 cal. Thank and I'm you. like, what's the wind looking like, Ben? I have a shot. Am I clear to fire? All clear. <laughs> Get the silence around. Yeah, it's a little one. Let's do what's wrong with you for eight. Oh man, oh, there's two daily doubles. Show me your feet, fans. Let's go. What? No, that, no that's not. Yeah. Your underage not. audience. Boys' toes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, it's All like right. it's either get on your feet or show me your hands. Uh. Show me your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. Don't be like a fucking yeah. cop, narc yeah, ass fuck? bitch. What the hell? Don't be like a fucking cop ass narc bitch, bro. He said, show me your hands. I mean, you, yeah, shut up, man. He sounded like he's been practicing yeah. to what? use on people. Do you want to be a cop? show me your feet and then said boy's toes. So? That was At least cool. I wasn't a cop. No, oh, whatever. Man. I want to see dirty boy's toes. Hard work and barefoot men's feet. There's nothing wrong with that. You're you trying have an to be age a range? 40. Okay. Years younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> how many points do I have and what's second place got? So Graydon has 73, uh, Ben currently is at 10 points, and Riley is at 47. Man, I really fumbled this. Wow, 10. True. <laughs> I want over 100. I really want to wager 30, but I'm scared. What category is this in? What's wrong with you? I'm just going to, uh, I'll wager 26 points. Got the irresistible urge to swallow inedible objects like clay, dirt, or worse? You've likely got this condition. Pika. That is correct. Wow. Oh, no. I should have wagered it all. Fuck! I got 99, though. And a bitch ain't won. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, a bitch ain't won yeah. this game yet. Yeah. Oh. Actually, a bitch won this game last time. Oh! <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Luckily, it looks I am going to be uh, free of being a bitch today. Because <laughs> like, I am not winning. I'll tell you that. Bitch can still lose. <laughs> no. I'm back on his side. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh my god! All right, what do we got left? Let's go. <laughs> Man, don't do that. It's unsafe. Oh, my bad. Uh, what's wrong with y'all for two? <laughs> if you died in Europe during the 1300s, it was probably due to this. The deadliest pandemic in history. Graydon. The bubonic plague. <laughs> <That's> correct. <laughs> Man. I even showboated the buzz there and I still beat you. Man. Started by rats. Oh, those started by boobs. <laughs> Get your boobs off me. <laughs> Can't you see we're in a plague, sister? <laughs> Get those cans away from me. <laughs> how do you mean you're in a strip club? You know how dangerous that is? Hey, when this thing's over, I, by all means, dump them out. But right now, you gotta put those things away. Right, time before. This pretty girl rules all over ancient Egypt. Graydon. Clear Rose. Fair Rose. That is Claro Fair That is correct. Man. <sighs> That's a redemption for me from last game when I said Claro, the Lana Del Rey answer. Wow, that's almost like losing almost. Like in a, like it's almost like worth like two losses to confuse Lana and Claro almost. I guess, man. They're both like female bosses. They're both bosses. That's true. I like that. Yeah. That was your redemption right there. <laughs> got go. you. All right. Finish me off, Tony. A lizard that smells like teen spirit. Riley. Is this Nirvana iguana? <laughs> That is yeah. correct. Yeah, see, see, I, it's just like a... That's good, though. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> a lizard that smells like teen spirit. Nirvana <laughs> iguana. Yeah, I like that. Going into Final Jeopardy, what do we have as our score right now? So, for Graydon, we have 105 points. For Ben, we have 10 points. And for Riley, we have 49. I can still come back. I will be wagering it all, no matter what. <laughs> I'm going to let everyone know that. Oh. I've been so hot today, I feel like I couldn't miss if I tried. All right, and once again, we do hope we have that score correct. Yeah. I'm just putting that in there just in case. Last time we got the score a little off, it did not affect the outcome. No. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I was robbed of some dignity, so. What's your deal? You have pretty nails. Thanks, man. We're not going to give you any more points. Especially for being so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, fuck your nails! And they're unkempt and un unseemly. They're not, though. They're unkempt and unseemly. All right, here's how it's going to work. <laughs> All right, we're going to get the category for Final Jeopardy. We are going to write our wagers down on a board. Then we are going to get the clue. Then we are going to listen to the original Hive Mind Jeopardy song. It's 30 seconds long. It's by Hunter Veers. And after that, we will reveal our answers and we'll see what happens. Countries. Countries. Oh, I like that. Okay. 
All right, wagers are in. Let's see the clue category countries. This European country, home to rappers such as Fave, SDM, and Tia Cola, is the second largest market for hip hop music in the world, behind only the United States. Answers are in. Last place goes first. I originally wrote Slovakia, and then I changed it to Italy. But France? That's what I put. The correct answer is France. Oh, wow. All right. I wagered 49. (laughs) (laughs) Graydon finishes with 210 points. Wow. Was I'll go the highest score ever? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and take these clothes off so we can get them down to Canton. Put them in the Hall of Fame. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't off. know if you should take them off on YouTube. Shoes. <laughs> Everything. This. I mean, you can take this. I mean, all this is going to have to go somewhere. Cool. Brain's our big winner and big, big, big. Wow. But our big guest, thank you so much for joining us, Ben. That yeah. was Man, fun. thank you for having me. It was a fun time. Yeah, I'm sorry, I really, uh, I'm such an idiot. Hey, it is just a game. But that was such an impressive display. Thanks, you did man. an amazing job, and you were so close with the comeback, only uh, to be to be thwarted. You really bring um, out the best in us. You do. That's nice. New music from Quadeca is coming soon. Yeah, you guys yeah. should be excited. I've heard some of it, and it is... Nobody's ready, once again. There's no one's ready. All right, yeah. other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning, and Graydon, go ahead and leave these people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. The day in which we fear as our last is really the birthplace of eternity. All right, this has been High Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. <laughs>Power buttons on the other side on the top. I don't like using the word power. Really? It just seems a little like as a white guy. Ah. I don't like being like power that on or whatever. Mm. Just, I don't know. It just feels a little bit like we're in murky waters there. So what do you say? Um, I say bring life to the screen. <laughs> <laughs>